Okay, so it's day two of my journey with the Apple Vision Pro. And yesterday we talked about how we can um, get to Microsoft 365 apps from three different places, from the native apps, Safari browser, or a uh, Mac screen mirroring experience. In this video, I want to focus in a little bit more on Microsoft Teams. There's a couple questions about, you know, how does Teams meetings work? Uh, does it show your persona camera? Those types of things. What does the other person see in the meeting? So I want to check that out and show kind of what the experience is. Now, to set that up, I had to create my persona. And a couple of thoughts as a person with a beard setting up a persona in this beta version. You put it on, you go through the wizard to set up your persona and create it. There's lots of videos about how to do that. I noticed though that whenever it was having me look into the screen and then start to move my head around, I had trouble getting past those initial first checks. And there were two things that it kept telling me. The first is it told me to make sure nothing was covering my eyes or my mouth. Um, obviously I didn't have my glasses on at the time. But uh, I think it thought that something was covering my mouth because my mustache is kind of big, I guess. So what I did is I kind of slightly opened up my mouth a little bit. And then it saw that like my lips and stuff like that. And then it saw my mouth and it allowed me to continue. The second thing is it kept telling me to make sure I had a neutral expression before it would let me turn my head. And I think my guess is that my mustache, the shape of my beard, it thought that I was like frowning or something. So I kind of gave a little bit of a smile that kind of like made my mustache more like level. And once I did that, then it dinged and it let me move on. So if you're a bearded person, those might help you is like opening your mouth a little bit and then kind of making sure that it doesn't look like you're frowning to the computer. That got me through it. But now that I've got the persona figured out, uh, now we can go through and we can join a meeting. And I want to show what that looks like to me in the headset and to Megan Bowen as a joiner from a computer. So let's get in the headset and check it out. Okay, so here we are in the headset. I've got my virtual Mac monitor up here ready to go. And I'm logged in as Megan Bowen. You can see her face up in the corner. Now, I've invited Megan to a meeting to test out this persona experience. So we're gonna join the meeting from this headset, then we're gonna have Megan join the meeting and we're gonna see side by side what each other sees. Now, we're gonna be using the persona feature uh, with the, the persona virtual camera is what they call it. We have to give access to that in Microsoft Teams. So the first time you join, uh, or attempt to join a Teams meeting, it will tell you, do you want to allow access to that camera? There's an allow and a don't allow button. You're gonna wanna hit the allow button. If you say don't allow, you'll be blocked from using your virtual camera. Now, if you mess up, your eyes kind of mess up and you hit don't allow, let me show you how you can fix it. So if we click on the crown, we go into the settings application, if we go down to privacy and security along the side, you're going to see a feature called Persona Virtual Camera. Open that up and you'll see all of the applications that are accessing or requesting access to that feature. Make sure that you turn that switch on and then it will work with Microsoft Teams. So let's close out of that. Let's go back into the app menu and open up Microsoft Teams. So I'm opened up into Teams as myself, and you can see there's my chat from yesterday with Alex Wilbur. Now, if we go over to the calendar, you'll see the agenda view, and I've got this meeting set up with Megan. So if I click to join this meeting, it's going to come up and get ready to join, and you'll see that I've got the video toggle. So if I turn that video switch on, now it's my persona. And you can see that like it did me dirty, right? Like it, because of my mustache, it thinks that like I'm not closing my mouth all the way when I talk. So that's really weird. The other thing is like it gave me like a really big melon. Like 
Uh, my glasses are like too narrow to fit my face. So very much a version one beta feature. But we're going to join this meeting. And there we go. We're in the meeting ready to go. I can access the chat right here from the side. I can go to the attendee list. I could ask Megan to join by clicking on her and asking her to join. I can do reactions, all of that stuff. So we're going to go back over to the computer and we're going to just join this meeting right there. So she's going to join. If I turn on that camera, it's just going to be there's my my uh, cam cam link 4K. So we can join the meeting and we'll just leave the camera off. And when we join, this is what Megan sees. So she's looking at the side of my head. That's because my team's window is over this direction. So if I kind of, you see how my head is kind of turning slowly? That's because it's almost like a mirror. It's like my camera lens is right here at Microsoft Teams. So if you want to fix that or you want to like make sure that, you know, you're looking at the camera, make sure you grab the little picker and I could move it right in front. And then now I'm looking at the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and move it above. And now it looks like my camera's above and I'm kind of looking down a little bit. So that's why it's showing like the different perspective on my head. So we're going to click back into it. We're going to move it back over and you can see how it's moving me around, right? So imagine that your camera is the team's window in Vision OS. But that's what I look like to Megan Bowen. Megan looks like her, you know, her initials to me in this side. If she were to go here and turn on her camera, then um, there's, you know, imagine that that's Megan in real life. I see my own persona down here. That's what what that all looks like. Now, one thing Megan could do is she could actually do her avatar if she wanted to. So if we go into here and we go into video effects and settings and then avatars, I don't know if I have one created for her yet. Okay, we do. So imagine this is Megan. Um, she could create or join with her avatar. We'll apply that. And now she's an avatar and I see her avatar and I'm a persona. We're both, you know, metaverse people, right? So that's what that looks like from my view in Vision OS from what Megan would see on our typical flat screen computer. Now, the other things that I can do is in this meeting is I can mute, unmute, I can turn on, you know, my speakers. Underneath this menu, I can also do a lot of the things that, you know, I'm a normal organizer or host. I can start recording this meeting and it will capture that. I, I have explicit consent turned on, so I would have to click yes and then, you know, Megan will get a yes in order to start capturing. So I can start and stop recording. I can view the transcription. I can lock the meeting. Um, I can turn off incoming video if I want to. Uh, I can even see the notes and I can change the meeting views. So I could go to like large gallery, you know, regular gallery, things like that. The reactions are up at the top. The one thing you don't see is I can't share my screen. So that's a look at the experience of attending a Microsoft Teams meeting in the Apple Vision Pro, as well as what the participants or the other folks on a normal flat computer screen see from their end. Now, you might have noticed that we ran into a little bit of a ceiling there where we realized that we couldn't share the Apple Vision screen into the Teams meeting, right? I can't share my spatial computing experience directly from the Teams application. In the next video, I'm going to explore that by using AirPlay to a companion device, another Mac, and then share that window into the Teams meeting instead. That way I can give everybody a, a view of what it looks like in the spatial computing environment of Vision OS through a Teams meeting using AirPlay. So if you're looking forward to that video, as well as a lot of others about the Apple Vision Pro, be sure to subscribe to my channel and you'll be aware of uh, videos that come out in the next couple days about those other topics.